Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I am here with a little bit of a different type of video. Normally I don't do like, oh I ordered this for myself on Macari or I ordered this, especially if it's like something that I'm planning on dilly dallying as I call it with. I will usually show those items on my uh, dilly dallying with Mama J. Which, anyways, I had seen somebody purchase some precious moment figures and paint them and I thought, hmm. I could do that. Let me give that a shot. You know, I've been trying different things. I've painted Funkos, handmade by robots, all kinds of stuff. So I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to order some and we'll see um, how it goes, if I can paint them or not. So my box arrived. Let me show you what's in my box. Okay. First of all, normally I would buy off eBay. This time I went ahead and I bought off Macari because they offered me a $10 coupon and I thought, what the hell, I'll get $10 free. I'm just looking for something to craft. Who knows, may not even come out good, so I may not even want it after I'm done. Order this stuff and see how it goes, right? Instead of ordering on eBay like I normally do. I used to sell on Macari. I bought things on Macari before, but most of the time I will deal with eBay over Macari. And here's an example of why. Okay, first let me show you what I got. Came in this big old box, very heavy duty box. Great box, okay? But you gotta know how to pack, right? In order to have a good box. So all the stuff I have is on top because I've already unpacked this because again, I was not gonna show this off. But let's see here, what do we got? All right, so I got this little tiny one. It really wasn't one I wanted, but it was part of the bundle. So I just went ahead and took it. This thing's really small. All right, then what I got in here is I got this one. Let me unwrap it so you can see it. This was a little plate. Again, not one I wanted, but it was part of the bundle, so I took it. Okay, so now the ones that I thought of possibly doing something with. My first one is this wonderful little cupcake. Isn't it adorable? Look at it. It's on the cup. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me, let me show you her hand and her present. Yeah, because it goes um, right there. You can see where it broke off. Okay, broke. Okay, wasn't a priority one, but it still was broke. Now, the one I really, really was excited about and I was going to customize first was a little cowboy. Get him out of the bag so I can show him off to you. So here's the little cowboy. Oh, wait, did I forget to tell you his head was broke off? So, I mean, I could probably glue it back on there, but that's not the point. There are chips missing and stuff, and this isn't what I paid for, okay? So there's that one. And then, last but not least, the other one I wanted, which I will not take out of the bag. As you can see, she is totally shredded. Lots of little chunks down here. I don't want that mess everywhere, so I didn't take it out of the bag. What they did was they took all of these, rolled them up in a ball, wrapped them in this heavy duty bubble wrap, but with all the space and bags in between. So as they rattled and banged against each other, being porcelain, they broke. The day before I received these, the person who I bought them from reached out to me to apologize because for some reason they weren't showing that they had shipped, but the person she had shipping for her claimed they shipped them. Listen, I'm a shipper, <laughs> okay? I get it. I know there's things I've shipped that don't scan. They wrapped them all together like that with bubble wrap. The box was great. Tons of bubble wrap. Problem is they didn't know how to put bubble wrap between all of these porcelain items. She reached out. She said something about the guy that was supposed to ship for her and all of that. But as a shipper, I know sometimes things don't get scanned. I get it. So I wasn't too worried about it. I told her, let's wait a few days and see. And then she messaged me later and says, well, the guy said that the delivery date was tomorrow. And I said, okay, well, maybe it'll come tomorrow, which it did. It did come that day, okay, which I believe was Wednesday. Wednesday, when the items arrived and I opened the box and that's what I found. So, of course, I wasn't happy. So, I kind of just sent the seller a note and said, hey, the items arrived, but three of the five the three that I would have customized are all broke. And you know, she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. He's usually such a good packer. Really? Because there was nothing good about that packing except for the box and the bubble wrap. But the way he put it in there, the bubble wrap wasn't good because it went around everything instead of in between. If he would have put it in between, 
I mean, seriously, it's just a little common sense because it's porcelain, right? I, um, I, she's like, well, I don't know what to do. I said, well, I'll file a claim. I said, or you can just, you know, do a refund. I said, but I'm going to, oh, she goes, okay, you're going to file a claim, you know? And so I filed a claim with Macari. And in the claim, they asked for pictures. So I sent them pictures of the broken items, all right? Then they sent me a message saying, we need better pictures. Can you zoom out? Can you take pictures of the box and the packaging in the box? Okay, does it matter? I mean, I'm just curious. Does it matter what the box looks like? Does it matter what the packaging looks like? The items are broke. No matter if they sent it in a box or a bag, the items are broken. I want a refund. They're like, so send us more pictures. So I got on and I tried to send pictures. I sent two and then it wouldn't allow me to send any more. So I told them, I said, it's not letting me send any more pictures. Policy is, you know, we need pictures of the, the box and the bubble wrap. So you'll have 24 hours to send pictures. Did I not just tell you your website would not let me send the damn pictures? So I said, it's not letting me. So then they sent me all of these troubleshooting tips. And during that, it was like unload, reload, um, clear it off your screen, then add it back on. I followed everything they said. I put it all back on there and it still wouldn't let me send pictures. And I told them that. Then they proceeded to say, oh, I'm sorry that you're having trouble with that, but you still have 24 hours to send the pictures or we can't do a refund. Are you guys just f***ing stupid? I'm serious. Just how stupid can you be? Do you not understand what I'm telling you? I've done all your troubleshooting. I said, send me an email. I'll send you the pictures. They send me another one saying they apologize. And, you know, maybe I should try a different device. And, you know, I have 24 hours, you know, but they didn't send me an email. They just kept telling me things. Okay. And I said, are you guys not listening? Do you even read the emails I'm sending you? It will not allow me. Even tried the desktop. I said, it will not allow me to send you any more pictures. Send me an email to send them to. They responded again with, oh, you know, this and that. And so sorry. And you have 24 hours to supply us with the pictures in order to do the refund. So at this point, you know, I'm boiling. I'm done and I'm boiling. I'm ready to take somebody's head off. Um, I called them this morning when they opened it. I think I called them around 8.30 or 9. I think they opened at 8 or whatever. And I got somebody, somebody named Tin. And I said, you know, I explained to them the situation. And then they proceed, well, you know, our policy. I said, I don't care what your policy is. Your policy is nothing unless your damn app works. Oh, well, I'm going to have to ask that you not talk like that. And I said, I'm going to have to ask that you guys stop trying to steal my money, okay? It's under $20. Just give me my refund for the crap that I was sent. You can have the shit back. I don't want it. So I go back and forth, and this woman is just irritating me. Because it's like, bend over, spread your ass cheeks, I'm going to blow smoke up your ass. No, you're not, because I don't play that game. So at that point in time, I was done. I said, give me a supervisor. Well, you know, I'm I said, stop talking to me. Give me a supervisor. And, you know, she's rambling on. I said, look, what's your name? And that's when she told me 10. I said, good. So I can make a complaint about you too. I'm trying to help you. Why are you going to complain about me? I said, because I've asked you more than once to give me a damn supervisor. Now transfer me to a supervisor. Well, I have to ask, I said, don't ask me not to do anything. I said, you guys are got to be the worst company I've ever dealt with. So at that point in time, I get a supervisor and I said, look, I just want you to confirm that you guys got the pictures that you're going to work on. Well, we have, but we can't do anything right now. It's still got to be reviewed. I said, you're so anal about me getting you shit within 24 hours. And now you're telling me you got to still review it. The shit is broke. What are you reviewing? And hung up. I went over to PayPal and filed a claim with PayPal. Yes, it'll take longer. It's under 20 bucks. It's the principal at this point. It's the principal. I'm so pissed. I could not even see straight. Okay, so real quick, this will be snipped in. This is back on the Macari issue. Once I reached out to PayPal and filed a claim with them and got all that done, well, now Macari is going to refund my money but I'm shipping back the broken stuff, which I've already done. I already went to the post office. I packed it the exact way it was packed when it came to me so that the person who sent it could see what I was talking about. You know, I wasn't going to say anything about the person personally, and I did not use her name or her um, Macari ID or any of that, but she got really snippy towards the end, told me that I was being ugly because I was fighting with Macari. You know, she could have just refunded the money. I mean, seriously, instead of sitting there making it such a hassle. And then, you know, the woman has issues. I'll be honest. She really does. Because when I first spoke to her, she sent me a message saying, 
oh, I don't know what's going on. I know I shipped it, but it's not showing scanned and blah, 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 blah. She sent me a second message, though the person that ships for me said it should be there tomorrow. Because I had told her the first time, don't worry about it, I get it. I know how USPS is, right? That's why I know how to pack a box. So then she said, oh, you know, the person that ships it for me. And then when I told her how, I said, well, uh, you know, oh, the person usually does wonderful. Really? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It was bad. It was bad, okay? And then all of a sudden when I told her how bad it was, then at one point when I got pissed because she's like, well, you know, I don't know, you know, da, 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 she played, like nothing was her fault. When it wasn't showing up in the thing, all of a sudden somebody else sent it. When she raved about how the person packed and she was so surprised things were broke and I was very bluntly honest about how bad it was packed. And all of a sudden, well, maybe somebody else packed it, but usually her friend ships for it. So now we don't even know who packed the box, right? Then she, she got snippy with me at one point. It's only like $20. You're right. It's $20, but it's my $20 and I don't want your trash for it. And all of a sudden it was like, well, I was going to give you your money back. Yeah. After you sat there and it played dumb the whole time. Okay, but everything was somebody else's fault. None of it was her fault. She didn't take blame. She did. I don't understand, you know. He packed it so good. You know, he packed it. Da, 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 da. I said, he, she goes, maybe it was the UPS that broke it. Well, yeah, it was broke while shipping through the USPS. Not UPS, but USPS. Of course it was. So, yes, they are the ones that broke it. You want to know why? Because you didn't know how to pack it. I said, yeah, I said, I don't know, I may have to make a video on the Macari issue and all of that. Well, what are you going to do? Post it on your YouTube channel, Superstar, so five people will watch it. And I said, I don't care if one person watches it. And I'm not a superstar, bitch. I'm a rock star. Get it correct. Okay? So... All of a sudden, I'm like, what are you doing? Stalking me? Following me around? I said, thanks for the view. You know, I didn't, like, I care, right? And then she says, no, you sent me the link. Really? Because you know Macari doesn't allow you to send links through their chat. So you lied again. You stuck in me. I know I'm all that, but you ain't my type, darling. So move on, okay? And if I find out you're still stalking me, guess what? I will let everybody know the name of your account. I will let everybody know your name because I want them to be aware of who is stalking me. So your trash, maybe by the time this is posted, probably has already arrived back to you. So like I said in the text message, darling, have a nice life. Yeah, she, everything was, she, she was the victim. Everything, she was the victim. And you know, really, I don't do drama and I don't do more rounds and she was both. Anyways, here's the original video. This was just an add-in. And I'm going to tell you, once I get my refund from Macari, I am canceling, closing down the Macari account. I don't want nothing even free from them. I will never use Macari again. And if you do, you're crazy. And if you get screwed, just remember Mama J told you they were going to screw you. All right? Anyways, I just thought I'd share my opinion, my situation, my review on f***ing Macari. And hopefully, you know, I'll get my refund and be done with them. Anyways, let me know down below. Have you had any issues with Macari? Have you bought out? Do you use Macari on a daily basis? I used to. I stopped. I tried to go back. Big mistake. Big mistake. Leave a comment because you may get something just for leaving a comment. Stay away from Macari. Stay the hell away from Macari. All right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>